How to add a payment gateway in Webflow. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how you add a payment gateway to your Webflow site. Webflow is a powerful platform that lets you design, build, and launch responsive websites without coding. But what if you want to sell products or services on your Webflow site? How can you accept payments from your customers? That's where a payment gateway comes in. A payment gateway is a service that connects your Webflow site to a payment processor such as Stripe or PayPal. It allows you to securely connect and process payments from your customers without having to worry about the technical details. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of adding a payment gateway to your Webflow site, enabling you to offer a secure and convenient online shopping experience. We'll show you how to connect popular payment providers like Stripe and PayPal, allowing you to effortlessly process transactions and get paid. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To add a payment gateway in Webflow and start accepting payments on your website, you can either connect Stripe or PayPal as your payment provider. This will allow you to collect payments, process refunds, and receive payouts. To begin, you'll need to create and connect your Stripe or PayPal account to Webflow. This can be done through the e-commerce payment settings in the editor. When you access the Webflow dashboard, you'll see a list of your existing sites that you have created. Click on any of the sites to be taken to the editor. If you haven't created any site yet, you can do so by clicking on the plus new site button. Upon clicking this button, you will be directed to another page where you have the option to create your site from scratch or use a pre-designed template. If you're not familiar with building a site from scratch, you can choose to use one of the pre-built templates available. Hover over the template you want to customize and click on the select option. Next, you'll need to name your site and click on the create site button. This will take you to the editor where you can customize the template and transform it into your own unique site. To add a payment gateway to Webflow, you need to navigate to the left menu of the editor. Look for the e-commerce option and click on it to enable e-commerce functionality for your site. Once you click on e-commerce, it will automatically be enabled, allowing you to proceed with setting up your online store. After enabling e-commerce, go back to the left menu and click on settings. This action will open the left sidebar where you'll find various options. Choose e-commerce from the sidebar and click on it. This selection will open a pop-up window, prompting you to provide basic information about your store. To continue setting up your store, click on the Continue button within the pop-up window. This step will allow you to enter the necessary details and provide the required store information. It is important to accurately fill out this information as it will be used for various purposes such as order processing, customer communication, and payment management. After clicking on Continue, another pop-up window will appear where you'll be prompted to set up your store information. Begin by entering your store's name in the Business Name field, then provide the necessary details such as the country, street address, city, state, and zip code of your store's physical location. In the Currency Settings section, you can choose the currency in which you want to conduct transactions on your store. By default, the currency is set to US dollars, but you have the option to change it to the currency that aligns with your business requirements. Additionally, you'll be able to select the language and region for your store, ensuring a localized experience for your customers. Once you have entered all the information accurately, click on Continue to proceed to the next step. Now, when you click on the e-commerce option under Settings, you will see various options available. One of these options is Payment. Click on the Payment option to access the settings related to connecting your chosen payment providers for accepting payments through your store. Webflow offers two payment providers, Stripe and PayPal. If you wish to connect with either of these providers or both, you can do so by clicking on the respective Connect Stripe or Connect PayPal options. For example, if you want to connect Stripe as your payment provider, click on Connect Stripe. This action will open a pop-up window where you will need to log into your Stripe account and authorize the connection with your Webflow account. After successfully completing the authorization process, your Stripe payment provider will be connected to your Webflow e-commerce website. This means you'll be able to process payments securely and efficiently through Stripe. After successfully adding a payment method to your Webflow e-commerce website, the next step is to enable the checkout functionality. To do this, navigate to the left menu and click on Settings. From there, select e-commerce and you will be presented with various options related to your e-commerce settings. Under the e-commerce section, locate and click on the checkout option. This action will direct you to the checkout window where you can configure the checkout settings for your online store. Once you're on the checkout window, look for the toggle button located under the enable checkout option. 
click on the toggle button to enable the checkout functionality for your website. It's important to note that you must have at least one payment method enabled before you can enable checkout. Therefore, make sure you already have added and connected a payment method as mentioned earlier. Enabling checkout allows your customers to proceed with the purchasing process on your website, making it essential for facilitating successful transactions. By enabling checkout, you provide a seamless and user-friendly experience for your customers, increasing the chances of conversions and sales. And there you have it, a beginner's guide on how to add a payment gateway to your Webflow site. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take